Hello there and welcome back. This is the third installment of the seven piece videos that I'm putting together for you guys um, on installing and configuring Asterisk 13, UniMRCP, and LumenVox 13.1. You may recall from previous videos we installed uh, PJSIP and configured that and got Asterisk 13 all installed and configured and run a quick test. So um, in this video, we're going to be doing some uh, installation of UniMRCP uh, dependencies. Um, so it's a uh, it's a small step, but it's a very important step. And as you can see here, there are actually three steps that involve UniMRCP. And I think this is maybe where some of the confusion comes in uh, when people are dealing with UniMRCP and asterisk. Uh, some of the naming conventions that are used um, can be can be quite confusing, um, but anyway, these components here and this sequence is really the the order in which you need to do things. So install a PJ SIP, install Asterisk 13, get everything running there, and only then move on to doing the UniMRCP stuff. And again, the UniMRCP stuff is not one thing; it's actually three things that you want to be doing. So the first of these is installing the dependencies. This is before we even attempt installing UniMRCP. Again, very important step that's going to save you some grief later on. And again, some of the some of the other confusion comes between the difference between these two steps, steps four and five. So UniMRCP and also the asterisk UniMRCP modules. There is confusion there um, that people have between what these things are. So the UniMRCP is the UniMRCP client. That is the thing that knows how to talk MRCP. And the asterisk UniMRCP module are the modules built for asterisk and uh, communicating with UniMRCP. So these basically are how um, UniMRCP talks to asterisk. Anyway, hopefully we'll make that clear as we go through things. But there are three distinct steps regarding UniMRCP um, that need to be done. And again, this can be quite confusing. So, uh, installing the UniMRCP dependencies. So, I think I mentioned there um, what they are uh, or why we need them. Um, UniMRCP actually has dependencies on some other projects and modules that it uses to do its uh, to do its thing. Um, mainly the APR um, project and the Sophia's SIP. So, um, both of these are used internally within UniMRCP uh, to do its thing. So you need those to be in place before we can do anything at all with UniMRCP. So if you need more details about UniMRCP, we strongly encourage you to go to UniMRCP.org. Um, they are the ones that actually produce UniMRCP, and there's a whole bunch of documentation here. Um, they actually have paid support um, plans that are available, uh, so you can decide whether or not you need um, assistance from these guys, or whether you just want to look through the documentation um, or, and join some of the discussions, perhaps, and maybe even get a better idea of what UniMRCP is all about. Um, so some of the other confusion that uh, that often comes around is uh, people confuse uh, UniMRCP with LumenVox. Um, so there, there is some history there. I mean, LumenVox actually funded the initial asterisk implementation of the UniMRCP project. Uh, UniMRCP is an open source project, as is asterisk. Um, however, LumenVox um, found, it, it, LumenVox felt that it would benefit um, our users and our user community to have um, this connectivity between asterisk and UniMRCP in place, which would allow users to much more easily plug in using using MRCP uh, to to use our um, speech resources. So yes, we, we did some initial funding for that part of the project. Uh, UniMRCP is an independent um, organization, um, open source organization. So they they existed long before that, um, and they do uh, lots and lots of other work and other connectivity with other things. Um, and we, we've actually funded some uh, more recent uh, additions to the UniMRCP Uni project as well, including the, the TTS um, interface. However, LumenVox 
um, holds no ownership over that code. Um, we, we, we are not affiliated with UniMRCP at all. Um, we just, we know these guys, we've, we've obviously worked with them. Um, however, we are not UniMRCP experts, uh, as a lot of people, uh, think we are. Um, sure, we work with it. We're not asterisk experts either. Um, you know, we, we have, um, we work with a lot of different platforms and a lot of different connectivity to our speech servers and services. Um, however, this is just one, one of many. Um, so we don't profess to be experts in the field of either asterisk or UniMRCP. Uh, now, despite this, <laughs> people keep asking us lots of questions about these things. We can, we can occasionally answer questions, but honestly, um, this is not the place to get those answers. Um, as you saw on the UniMRCP site, um, they have discussion forums and paid support. And the same kind of thing goes for the asterisk and Digium folks there as well. Um, so anyway, hopefully <laughs> that cleared uh, some of that confusion up. Um, so let's, let's, let's move on. Okay, so we are back at the command console here, console window. Uh, we're going to be moving to the user source folder once again. Uh, this time we're going to be pulling down the UniRCP dependencies um, file. So we're going to be getting this, as you can see, from the uh, UniRCP site. If uh, I'm going a little bit too quick for you here, don't worry too much about it. This will all be in the notes that accompany us. All right, now we're going to unzip that since we've downloaded it. That didn't take very long at all. And then we're going to be changing into the, uh, the UniMRCP folder. And we're going to be running a very simple uh, script here, which is build dep libs. And this really um, asks us whether we want to install the, the APR and the Sophia SIP um, components or dependencies, and th this is, you want to answer yes to both of these. Now, before we move ahead here, you probably want to get your notepad out and make um, make a note of where these folders are going to be. We'll need that information a little bit later on. Again, it's not super complicated, but you'll need a note of that. So we'll go ahead and start the APR uh, library installation. Perfect, so that installed, um, took a couple of minutes to do, and I saved you having to watch me do that. Uh, now we wanna do the Sophia SIP library. Perfect, and that one installed in a couple of minutes as well. So great, we have installed our dependencies for UniMRCP. Uh, now we are clear to move on to step four, which is installing UniMRCP itself. Again, this was a small step, but a very important one. Thank you for watching.